We are here at the Mirage Poker Showdown. It's the last break of the day, and Shannon Shore is one of the chip leaders. Shannon, you have almost 125,000 in chips. How did you accumulate such a big stack? Uh, I'd like to say that I've played great in the small pots, which may or may not be true, but I've just really been smacked by the deck, especially in the first level. I, like, flopped the Stone Cold Nuts three times, <laughs> you know. And Are you I starting out with good starting hands also? Uh, yeah, I've been playing pretty close to the vest all day, and just things have been working well. So that last hand, right before the break, I saw you raise pre-flop. The flat, we got one caller. The flat came out kind of grizzly looking, and you bet out of it. Did you really get a piece of that? Uh, I did, actually. I raised it up with 10-9 of hearts. and came 10-5-3, I think, and he check-folded. Pretty standard, I guess. Have people been playing a little bit tighter against you because you are a chip leader? They don't want to risk risking their entire stack against someone at their table that could potentially bust them? Uh, not so much. Uh, most of the guys are probably the average stack at this table is like, aside from me, is probably like twenty five thousand. So they're they're still mixing it up. Steve Sung just got moved over here and he, he has a bunch. So I don't really want to play a hundred and fifty k pot, but he's been staying out of my way and I've been staying out of his for the most part. So any plans for the last level? Excuse me. Any plans for the last level of play for the night? Uh, no plans. Just take the hands as they come. Hopefully they'll keep coming as they've been coming. Yep, for sure. Great. Thank you very much, Shannon. Thanks. Lizzie Harrison and Shannon Shore for Card Player TV.